and today we are going to look at the use of the overlocker which is another very important part of our kit for sewing and um, some overlockers will use three threads some four and some five um, but essentially an overlocker will give you a very nice neat edge to your fabric and is very useful when finishing seams and hems and in other circumstances as well where you do not want a raw edge. So it's suggested that we don't change any of the settings on these dials. Um, they have been preset by the technician to give the best possible stitch. We need to make sure that we are sitting comfortably at the machine, that we're sitting square and straight and not at an angle. Um, and we also make, need to make sure that we concentrate on our work so that we don't make any mistakes. Before we start stitching, you should always make sure that there is a chain of thread left and that indicates that the machine is working well for you. Uh, you should also be aware of the um, pedals. There are two. The one on the right, when you press it, the lever will raise the presser foot and this enables you to put the fabric under and ready to start stitching. The other pedal is for your feet and this is what operates the machine and it's advisable to have both feet on the pedal, one slightly in front of the other and this will give you greater control when operating the overlocker. You should be aware that there is a blade um, fitted very close to the presser foot and this will trim off bits of fabric. So it's very important to make sure you keep an eye on your work in relation to the blade. Turn on the machine and you just need to give it a couple of seconds to warm up and this makes sure that the machine is going to work properly for you before you start overlocking. So we're just going to press gently with our feet and we're just taking off little whiskers of threads as we go. You can see that if I start to lose control a little bit, I could take off more fabric than I really would be possibly happy with. So do keep your eyes on the blade at all times. Now you can see that I have um, made a chain. So I'm going to turn the machine off and I am going to cut the threads. Now if I want to go round a corner, I would need to put the fabric back under the machine and then start again. And that's the way you would cope with a corner. Again, produce a chain of threads and then cut off. And remember to turn off your machine when you have finished. So here you can see that we've got a nice overlocked edge. And that's the overlocker. After a short video showing you how to use the industrial irons safely, I will be taking you through a range of different types of simple seams.